Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Ying. Nice good to, to meet you. Good to see you again. How's your eyesight? It's doing pretty good. Oh, excellent. Do you feel like you've had any changes since last time you were here? Yes. Okay. Good changes. Good changes. Good changes. Tell me more about that. Um, before last time I saw you, I had the wavy lines that I was seeing, uh -huh. and I haven't seen those oh, for excellent. a while. So. Excellent. Okay. I'm just going to take a look at your measurements. Your vision's measuring very well, slightly better than last time. And the OCT, the retina scan, also is looking very good now. Let's see, let me see your old numbers. It's, it's within the margin of error. It's uh, measured 206 today. That was very close to 209 last time. So we're doing very well. And the vision is measuring better. So, very good news. All right. More numbing. Put down. Do you have any stinging with that? Nope. Excellent. Put your head back again, please. And look down. Just light a little bit. Put down again. Seems perfect. So just a little sting. Close your eye gently. The uh, anesthesia will work a little faster if you keep your eye closed. We're doing Bobismo, uh, one of the newer medications. It uh, blocks both the vascular endothelial growth factor receptor, VEGF, and it also blocks uh, an additional receptor angiopoietin 2 or ANG2 and together these are the two major pathways by which your body makes the abnormal blood vessels that are leaking and causing your vision uh, uh, to be uh, blurry and so this uh, this medication uh, well since it blocks both pathways we think it's a little bit more effective than the other ones even though the other ones are still 90 to 95 percent effective this might be a little bit more effective and we know that if we can restore your vision faster, that's good news uh, for uh, maintaining your vision over the long term. Okay. Okay. So this is the medication. This is like the gold here. I think these medications cost about the same as like an ingot of gold. Um, and so we're just drawing up the medication. This is a filter needle, a 19 gauge filter needle. And so, uh, if there's any lapse in sterile technique, it will filter out anything uh, 0.2 microns or larger. That's uh, the size of most bacteria. And so we just need to drop about 0.1 or 0.15 species. And we try not to get any air bubbles in there or else the patient will see those bubbles in their vision. And then this is the needle that we'll be injecting. It's a 30 gauge needle. And so we just put that over here. A clean field. And this is an eyelid holder. I'm just gonna raise your eyelid here. This just this eyelid holder just keeps your eyelashes out of the way so you don't blink during the procedure. That's very good. Do you have any pain with that? Nope. Okay, and then another drop of anesthetic. And drop this right where we're putting the uh, needle and also it fills the lower fornix so this beta vine normally would sting a little bit. Uh, make sure that the entire conjunctiva is anesthetized. So then we just push out down to about 0.05. And then we've given this about uh, 30 seconds for the uh, beta dine to dry. And then injection about three millimeters plus year to the lumbus. Do you have any pain with that? No. Nope. Very good. I'm gonna rinse out your eye. Just a uh, balanced salt solution. Just gonna uh, look up, please. And this will just remove any of the excess beta dye. Look down and lidocaine gel and other products that we put in your eye. 
Now, do you ever have any pain later? If you do, we, we can also put in a little bit of erythromycin ointment. Yep. Okay, you're all set. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gucci sunglasses. That's <laughs> what you get for coming to Longwood Eye and LASIK.